it's a pretty unusual circumstance if you look around. Either you're in a much more populated area in an institution this size, or you're in this area this size and in an institution much smaller with much fewer opportunities. It's a smaller city, it's four hours north of Boston, but we have everything here that major cities have and major academic centers. And I've been very pleasantly surprised with, with both the subspecialization and the quality of care uh, that, that we're able to provide here. Eastern Maine Medical Center is a level two trauma center. We are a referral center. We support the healthcare needs of patients in Northern, Eastern, and Central Maine. We provide services to about 500,000 residents across the state of Maine. We are a 411 bed tertiary care facility and you can go a, a couple of hundred miles north and east uh, without uh, finding another tertiary hospital. We have currently 450 physicians on the medical staff and another 150 or so um, non-physician providers. Uh, our scope of practice really ranges all the way from a very diverse primary care population um, through super subspecialty. So we have a big medical group and it's had a big impact on how we practice medicine. Looking for ways to collaborate, looking for ways to work together both with each other and with the institution. It's really all about anyone who walks through our doors, whether it's the patient, the care team, or the support mechanism, when they walk through that they can sense and feel that the space is really all about them. You can see the joy on both our staff's faces and our patients' faces. The ORs are beautiful, the individual rooms are beautiful, and it just creates such a healthy and enjoyable work environment. Comparing the compensation package in terms of salary and incentive plan, I would say this compares to any, any program nationally. We have a sign-on bonus, generous paid time off, uh, vacation time, as well as continuing medical education, so for professional development. We get a, a generous CME allowance and we do have a, a lot of um, time off in order to pursue educational opportunities. So I've been able to both go and teach at, at many courses throughout my, my career here uh, and with the full support of the MMC. In addition, in, in primary care, we have a mentoring program. As the physician director, I meet with those providers in the first week, I meet with them in the first month, the third month, and the sixth month looking to support their needs and making sure that they have the resources that they need to be successful. I think the best benefit about practicing in Bangor is just the scope of patients and the scope of practice that you get to do. We have patients um, from all different walks of life, pediatrics through elderly and through all different sorts of um, things that bring them to our practice. So whether it's for hand injuries, to limb salvage, to body contouring, to cosmetics, to our breast reconstruction. Uh, I just love that wide variety of patients. It is not guard variety stuff. Different conditions that you can manage that will optimize you as a physician, you as a surgeon, and it does pull on a lot of your ability to interact with other services. Taking care of patients includes a team approach. This is a high-tech, beautiful facility. We really are providing the best possible care for those that need it. It allows us to do more uh, with less of an invasive impact on patients. Having everything that we have here really provides me the opportunity to provide the best patient care possible right here in Bangor. We do have a collaboration with Dana-Farber which allows patients in our region to have access to clinical trials here at home, to have direct links with um, tumor board reviews as well as consultations. We are the only one in the state of Maine and we are only one of six now nationally that have that collaborative relationship with Dana-Farber. We've done the big city stuff and Coming to Bangor, it's a different feel. It's a more family feel, and certainly it's a lot more open space and a lot more to do outdoors than we had the opportunity before. All winter I go skiing, usually up at Sugarloaf. A lot of the kayaking I do, I try to do around a lot of the local lakes and rivers. And a lot of the hiking I've done has been mostly in Acadia. Just, Acadia's incredible. It's just so amazing, we live 45 minutes away. We also have the waterfront concerts from spring through September. We have a lot of national 
acts that come to perform there. The Children's Museum here rivals out of major cities. Uh, there's a ton to do outside with kids too, including the Bangor City Forest, which we actually go to quite a bit. So certainly having both balance at work and at home is, is a top priority for me here and one reason why I'm very happy here. That is a very important part of our culture here at Eastern Maine Medical Center is to you know play hard and work hard as well. Eastern Maine Medical Center is really a beacon in the Bangor skyline. We've been in existence since 1892. So we really are very important to the health and welfare of our community. It's not only taking care of people when they're ill, but it's also about supporting our community as a whole. Not only to the local community, but our community across the state of Maine.